Hello everyone. Have you ever paid attention to the different kind of sounds that we keep hearing in nature? Have you ever noticed that the nature is never silent? One or the other kind of sound keeps ringing in the nature. This is the message that resonates in the poem on the grasshopper and cricket. Do you remember this poem the ant and the cricket which tells a story and that has animals as characters? In our present poem the grasshopper and cricket animals do not appear as character but they symbolize something. What do they symbolize? Let's read in the poem. Before we read the poem do you know what is a fable and what is a sonnet? The ant and the cricket is a fable while on the grasshopper and cricket is a sonnet. both are kinds of poetry a fable is a story that often has animals as character and that conveys a moral while sonnet is a poem with 14 lines and it has any number of formal rhyming schemes our present poem on the grasshopper and cricket is a 14 line poem and it's a sonnet let's read what is there in the poem the poetry of earth is never dead poetry of earth is sounds of nature when all the birds are faint with the hot sun faint means very weak and tired nearly unconscious and hide in cooling trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the newly mown mead hedge is a fence or boundary which is formed by closely growing bushes and newly mown mead is newly cut or trimmed meadow or grasslands the poet says that the poetry of nature that means the sounds of earth never stops it is never dead in the hot sun when the birds are too tired to sing and they take shade under the cooling trees we hear a voice that runs from boundaries to boundaries from hedge to hedge and also under the newly cut grasses that is the grasshoppers he takes the lead in summer luxury he has never done with his delights for when tired out with fun he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed So the sound that we hear when the birds are tired is the sound of grasshopper. In the summer the grasshopper takes the lead and starts singing and he is never tired he is never out of fun singing in the summer he does it with a lot of delight a lot of happiness. And then finally when he is tired and when he is out of fun when he is done singing he takes rest under some pleasant grass under weed. So in this stanza the poet wants to say that the poetry of earth never stops when the birds are too tired to sing in the hot summer it is the grasshopper who takes the lead and continues to sing Let's see the poetic devices in this stanza first we will go for rhyming scheme dead rhymes with met so we will give it a sun run done and fun are all rhyming we will give them b and lead rhymes with weed so the rhyming scheme of this stanza is a b b a c b b c also let's see the figure of speech first figure of speech is symbolism here grasshopper symbolizes summer season and cricket which we will study in the next stanza symbolizes winter season then there is alliteration in the line h to h as her sound is repeating and also in the line new mon me med so there is m sound now if we see this a voice will run voice never runs so it is personification here what is personification personification is a figure of speech in which human attributes are given to non living thing so here is personification and also in the line he rests at ease grasshopper is an animal and we don't represent them with he but here the poet has done so so there is personification if we see this line the poetry of earth there is metaphor the sounds of nature are called poetry of earth what is metaphor when two dissimilar things are compared due to a similar attribute so here poetry of earth is called the sound of the sound of nature is called poetry of earth also there is oxymoron in the stanza what is oxymoron it's a figure of speech in which apparently contradictory term appear side to side together for example deafening silence silence is not deafening so there is oxymoron so in this stanza in this part pleasant weed weed is an unwanted thing it is not pleasant but poet has called it pleasant weed so there is oxymoron here 
Now let's see the other stanza. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. That means ending never. The poetry of earth never ends. On a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silent. Frost means uh, the snow, the coldness. It has brought silent. Wrought is brought. So uh, in the winter evening when everything falls silent because of extreme winter. From the stone there shrills. Shrills means comes loud and clear. The cricket song in, wo uh, in warmth increasing ever so from the from behind the stone stone comes loud and clear the sound of cricket cricket sings and its warmth increases that means the sound increases continuously and seems to one in drowsiness half lost uh, drowsiness means feeling sleepy and lazy the grasshoppers among some grassy hills so the grasshopper who is drowsy in winter to uh, uh, hears the sound of cricket when the grasshopper stops. So the poetry of earth never stops. When birds are tired, grasshopper sings. When grasshopper is tired, it is cricket which sings. So this cycle continues. The cycle of sound of nature, the cycle of singing in the nature keeps continuing. Now let's see the uh, rhyming scheme of these lines also. Never rhymes with ever. Frost rhymes with lost and shrills rhymes with hills so the rhyming scheme is abc abc of this stanza now figure of speech uh, here again we have personification and frost has wrought a silent frost has brought silent so human attribution is given to frost also in this line the cricket song in warmth increases ever the increasing volume of cricket sound is compared to the increase in warmth in the air. So there is metaphor. So that was the explanation of the poetry. Here we have question answers from the chapter working with the poem. You can go through it. You can write your own answer and cross check. So this was about the poem on the grasshopper and cricket. I hope you have understood it. Please let me know through the com comment if there is any doubt. I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.